Hi, in this session I'm going to cover how to use the filter feature in Excel. It's also called the auto filter feature. And we have a table here. We can use it in a table of data. We have our table here on the first row. We have our column headings. And in our table here we don't have any blank cells. And how to access the filtering feature, there's a couple ways. First is the go into the home tab and under the editing group we can do a sort filter and under the filter, oops, I had it on earlier. So go ahead and click the filter um, in the uh, editing group and we see our filters are turned on here. Let me go ahead and turn it off now. The other way to do it is go into the data tab and in the sort and filter group also click the filter icon here and we see that it's turned on. Now another way to do it if you like keyboard shortcut, let me hover over it, is the control shift L keyboard combination that will turn on the filter feature. So let me go ahead and click this to, to turn it off and press control shift L and we see that it is turned on. Now with filter, excuse me, with filtering we can filter with text. There's a couple of different text options. Usually Excel is pretty smart enough that if it knows that the values here are text, it will let you filter by text. If the values are numbers, it'll filter by number. If the values are dates, it'll let you have some options to filter by dates. Um, do any other filtering by dates. Let's see how that let's see some of the options there. For text filters, maybe there we want to do something that equals a country or here's these countries but we want to filter by let me say it equals let's say we want to have it equal I don't want to scroll all the way down we see those checkboxes earlier let's say Uganda I want to filter by Uganda and then I've got all these uh, results for Uganda now the other way to do it if uh, you don't want to go through and type it in or you like to use the checkboxes we can clear this filter and we can go ahead and unselect this. Maybe we want, we want to do Algeria and Angola. And you can go through the selection here and just basically select the ones you want to filter. So that's filtering by text. Let me go ahead and clear that. Excel also lets you filtering by numbers. So we have our number filter. See how now we have the options that are different here since we've got different values here. We can either, of course, we can go back and, and filter and check and uncheck these, or we can do these different uh, number filters, having equal to some number, greater than, or less than. We can do a top 10. Now, this is years, but years are in numbers, so it'll give you, it'll, 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 in, a, in a way, this is erroneous. It's not really a top 10 because we're talking about years, but it can also give you average and below average, and you can do a custom filter. Now, an interesting thing here with the custom filter, let me just go quickly into that, is you can do you can do and or or criteria. So let's say we just want the year 2000 and year 2010. So we have the first one equal 2000 and we want to do an or. We want those two years. So we want two years. So we want 2000 and maybe 2010. Right? And now we've got our data for let's say I'll use Afghanistan as the first country for as an example. We have our filters for the year 2000, 2010. So that's that's the custom filter that you can use. Let me go ahead and clear that. If we go back into the text filter, you'll see that there's also a custom filter here. Now for dates, uh, let me go. We have our different options for date filters, and there's a lot of them. You can see that it can you can have it equal to a certain date before or after, and there's these are today, tomorrow, yesterday. So basically, when you um, close and reopen your your Excel one day and open up the next day these will be kind of dynamic um, so there's a lot of things to play with here with filters now also the when we when we have filters up we can see some nifty information when that's around oh there's also one more thing you can also filter by color I had this here we had to highlight some of these as yellow so we can filter by color if you had highlighted so when I highlight all these yellow, you'll see that the yellow are the only ones filtered out there. And Excel is kind of nice because when you there's a nice little status that that shows you how many items are filtered. If you see right here, we have uh, a little over 2,500 records, and it brought the filtering. We only see about 216 of them. So if I go scroll on down here, you'll see that it counted 216. So that's kind of like a little nice little status information for us. Also to let you know that 
uh, if you ever receive an Excel sheet and you've got these filters on, you'll see that we have the drop down here, and you know that this table ha was filtered because there's this filter icon here, and if you also notice, the colors on the row labels are different color. Instead of being the black default color, it's this blue color. Now, also to kind of look through and understand, well, when someone sent you some, sent you a table or file that is filtered, what did they filter it by? I mean, instead of instead of going over and taking a look and seeing, you can basically just hover over the filter, and it will tell you. In this instance, uh, it's filtered by the yellow cell color. Now, if I un, un, I clear that and I just wanted to do Andorra, you can see if I hover over here we'll see that it's filtered by Andorra. Um, or if you, this one's a simple example, but if you had something where it's numbers or it had multi, a custom filtered, it will tell you if you just kind of hover over there what it's filtered by. The other nice thing is about when, when you have the um, filter turned on is that you can start to sort. You can sort from smallest to largest here or, or largest to smallest here. So that's another feature that you can use once you turn on filtering. And when you filter something, you may think that there, there's, there's maybe you want to filter something and uh, let's say we just want year 2000. Let's go back to our, let's go and uh, use the search function. Let's just say, well no, let's go do a text filter. Or, well, let's go to search. We'll, we'll say that we want to have Let's see if this works. We want to have we want to search for anything that says, has the word island in it. So now it's going to bring back all the results that have the word island in there. And let's say I want to just copy all this and I do select that control C copy, bring up a new sheet here. Let's increase the size here. And then I want you'll notice that these marching ants here how it's uh, only f selected for a certain block of t uh, of the data. You'll see here it's 2483 and two, row 2550. So it's only selecting that portion about it. And this is only selecting that portion. And so if you copy it, it will only copy those those particular selections for you. So when you do a copy and paste, maybe you, when you after you have filtered something, you're, you're copying and pasting. And when you select it, you want to make sure that you'll copy only that selection not the whole table you'll, know, you'll, you'll see that these dancing ants or these marching ants are only uh, are only going around those particular items so there's a lot of, a lot of cool things you can do with the let me go ahead and escape here press escape and undo this so there's a lot of neat stuff you can do with the filter feature in Excel and hopefully this video has been instructive for you hope it helps Thanks for watching.